the dreaded feedback loop from Zoom. How do you avoid it? Hey everybody, uh, Rabbit David here, your Torah Tech Guy. So I decided to do a few short videos of just how-tos. Um, and uh, I want to start with how do you avoid that horrible Zoom feedback echo loop that can sometimes happen. So if you're in a hybrid environment and you've got um, uh, your, your people in person and you're using a sound system, so you're using microphones that amplify your voice in the room through speakers, and you've got Zoom that you're bringing into that room. Maybe you have a monitor set up. That's gonna be another how-to, by the way. Maybe you have a monitor set up and um, you have people participating through Zoom in your hybrid service. When that sound from Zoom is coming into your room, how do you avoid that echo feedback loop? That's what we don't, I want to talk about today. So there are a few sort of high level things that you can do, and then I'm gonna give you a basic quickie rule to get this done, all right? The first thing is take a look at how your room, your sanctuary or your library or your chapel, wherever you're streaming from, take a look at how that room is set up your microphone placement, your speaker placement, and sound treatment. So I have in my office here a few of these guys up on my wall. These are sound sort of absorbing, dampening things. I doubt that you're gonna to wanna to put these up in your sanctuary, but you should know that the more smooth, hard surfaces you have in your space, whether it's concrete or glass or uh, hardwood, the sound that comes out of your speakers is gonna bounce all around the room and it's gonna create on its own a little bit of echo. Even just within, your, forget Zoom, just within your room. And so the more soft um, covered spaces, walls that you have, maybe they're, you know, they're covered by books or you have some beautiful tapestries hung up, anything like that, even carpet on the floor, can make a big difference in deadening a little bit of the sound bouncing around the room. Another thing to think about is that, as I said before, speaker and microphone placement. Most of us just kind of have the speakers up and we want it to be loud for the entire room to hear. We don't think about how much of that sound is actually getting picked up back through the microphones that we have up on the BIMA. You can position your speakers in such a way that they direct the sound to your congregation and that not much of it at all comes back up onto the BIMA where your microphones are. That can do a lot. That can really help in the sound quality overall with your hybrid uh, um, meetings, your hybrid services, and particularly the people who are watching online. But now I wanna give you sort of the basic rule of thumb, and it's really easy to remember, ready? When Zoom is speaking, the room is muted. When the room is speaking, Zoom is muted. It's that simple. So if, for example, you are leading a service in your sanctuary and you have people joining you on Zoom. You wanna make sure that everybody on Zoom is muted so that no sound is coming from Zoom into your sanctuary, into your space. You can set this up in settings before you even start your meeting. Set it up so that upon entry, everyone is automatically muted. Or if you want people to maybe schmooze when they first come in, you can click that mute all button and Un, or check the box that says do not allow people to unmute on their own, right? You should have control to the extent that you can over who mutes and who unmutes, not because you have bad actors, but because people forget and people press the wrong button and it happens. So number one, make sure that when you're speaking, when you're using your sound system, that Zoom is muted. If you have somebody who's having an aliyah or participating in the service or even maybe giving a Devar Torah, when they are speaking over Zoom, you want to make sure that your room is muted. Now, I don't mean turn off your house microphones. What I mean is the signal, the audio signal that you're sending into Zoom. So you might have, maybe it's just, well, if, if you're using a sound system in your sanctuary, then you've probably got some cable going from a mixer or from maybe an audio interface like the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 or 4i4, you have a cable going into your computer that's bringing audio in. And that is the source, the audio source for Zoom. So when someone is speaking from the Zoom agog, you wanna make sure that your Zoom microphone, the Sanctuary Zoom microphone is muted. 
That way, whatever they say, when it's projected into your sanctuary, will not get picked up by your microphones in-house, which are then going back into Zoom, and you won't get that feedback loop. Does that make sense? Okay, let me say it one more time, because I'm not sure it made sense to me. When the room is speaking, Zoom is muted. I did it backwards the other time. When Zoom is speaking, the room is muted. When the room is speaking, Zoom is muted. You just have to make sure that one of those two things are, are muted. So if you're leading services, make sure that everybody in your Zoom meeting is muted. Not you. You want the people in Zoom to hear you, but everyone else. When someone on Zoom is speaking, a participant, make sure that your audio input into Zoom is muted. And you do that within the Zoom interface. Now, I for one do not like futzing around in Zoom trying to find the mute button. So I might suggest, if you're interested, in using a Stream Deck in order to get that done. Let me show you what I've, I've talked about this before. So this is a Stream Deck, and uh, it's got all these LCD buttons here. And I have, I'm not in Zoom right now, so it's not lit up, but this button right here is my mute button. So if I want to mute myself, I just press that button and it automatically mutes me. You can set up a Stream Deck, even just a six button Stream Deck, the little baby one, with two buttons, right? Mute all, mute me. Those are the only two buttons you need to avoid that Zoom feedback loop. When the room is speaking, Zoom is muted. When Zoom is speaking, the room is muted. That's how you do it. It's really not that complicated. It could be complicated. We could go into, you know, um, mix minus and all that other stuff, but none of us are interested in that. We're interested in getting the job done. How do I get this done easily? When the room is muted, Zoom. When the room is speaking, Zoom is muted. When Zoom is speaking, the room is muted. And if you want an easy way to get that done, maybe pick yourself up a Stream Deck. That's it. Hey, later today, by the way, I've got a nice uh, Tora Tech Tips coming to you with a third option. It's not just about on-site, online, or hybrid. There is not a third option, another option. There is another option. That'll be at four o'clock today. I hope I'll see you there. And uh, you know, that's how you do it. Bye. <laughs>